tonight on Ma's Roadhouse. Rick takes Ma to the links. Rick, you can't hit the f ball. You can't hit the f ball. Then a bachelor party spins out of control. Bring out the titties! And later, Ma behind the wheel. Watch out, I did this. <laughs> My name is Rick Fairless. I'm the owner and operator of the Stroker's Empire. Running this roadhouse of hooligans is no picnic, but if you think these guys are tough, you obviously haven't met my mom. What utter bullshit. She doesn't trust me. He's a dumbass. I'm embarrassed to be your mother. But she's my mother and I love her. Can I have another cocktail? Who's running this place, Helen Keller? She might be. Rick. Yeah? I just got a call from Kurt. You know Kurt. He wants to throw a bachelor party up here for his friend. He's a blowhard. He's fine. He's a dickhead. He's fine. <laughs> Kurt's a longtime customer of ours, and he spends a lot of money with us, but he's a prick. Kurt is a troublemaker. Kurt and his buddies got in a big fight up here about a year ago. It's like a barroom brawl up here but he apologized the next day and wrote me a big check ricky will do anything for a dollar so he wants to have his bachelor party up here this afternoon this yeah. afternoon this afternoon do you want to hear his list of requests yeah. i do i do too he wants blow up dolls they also want a goat i know what he wants to do with that goat oh gross you can't have a bachelor party without a goat. He also wants a dare wheel. Dare you spin wheel. it, and you've got like random dares that the groom has to do, and a cake that has an oil rig that spews chocolate. You have to set on Kurt, otherwise he's out of control. Megan, the bottom line is, whenever somebody has a, a request that's not normal, you tend to freak out. Make it Goats, happen. goats are beyond health code. Did you see the owner of the company was talking? I didn't see anything on that list that we can't get. You ever heard of Google? Yeah. Google it, mofo. Get it done. This bachelor party better be good or heads are gonna roll. Every year we have a golf tournament to raise money for the Texas Scottish Rite Hospital. I decided to bring my ma out, and it didn't work so well. You're putting a whammy yes. on me! If you can't hit the f***ing ball, you can't hit the f***ing ball. How do I start this, just put, just, just push down. Oh. Ma! Ma! My ma got a letter in the mail from the state saying that she had to renew her driver's license. I guess because she just turned 71. So I thought if I got her out on the golf course, if I can get her to drive that golf cart, it'll help her when she's taking her driving test. At least that was my intention. You're not supposed to run over the curb. Ma, uh, you're not supposed to be drinking that. Nobody's watching me. Everybody's watching this stupid golf. The good time part, she had the good time. But learning to drive a little bit, that part didn't work. The more I drink, the better I like you. I was stuck here getting everything ready for the party. I had a lot to do in a short amount of time. I need to order a cake. Uh, yes, I need it today. Okay, so no, so you can't do that. I need a cake with a custom oil rig on top that's gonna spew chocolate, like in an hour, for a bachelor party. Can you, can you I just, need it today. Can you hold on just one second? Do you have bikini girls available today? See what you can do. Like I said, it has to have an oil rig on the top. You can't help at all. Thank you anyway. After the fiasco with her driving the golf cart, it's obvious that she needs something. So I thought I'd sneak in a quick lesson before she went and took her test. Your driving test is today. Can you abstain from drinking for 10 minutes or something? My name is Chad. I work with 123 Driving School. This is my mother. How are you, Miss Fairless? That's Chad. Chad Henry. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Chuck. She's 71 years old. She's sharp. Ricky, as... why do you have to tell people that? You it know what I mean. It pisses me off to start with. Are you Chuck, ready? Chuck. It's Chad. I don't need this. Well, how about we look at it that everybody wants you to be a safe driver? Perfect.
this little nerd. Nice guy, but total nerd. She's not gonna strike you, I don't think, but she may cut you, okay? <laughs> Rick, me. Good luck, good luck. Okay, what you got there? My beer. You know you can't drive a beer in the car. Give me that. She is, is a handful. So we're gonna put two hands up there. Like Chad, I drive better with lipstick on. Well, it's always important to look good. They want you to keep your hands on the outside of the wheel. There you go. That's not how I do it. No, you gotta stay to the right. I am. I got it. There we go. Whoa, you gotta turn the lane closest to you. I forgot. I've called every cake place I can find, and of course no one can do it on a short deadline. So I have to go ask Rick. Look at the cool stuff no. I got. This one's name is Judy. No, no, no. She's a small-breasted one. Oh, they were a big-breasted okay. one. And here's a goat named Leo. More importantly, I can't find a cake that can spew oil chocolate. I've called three or four places. OK, call Coochie's Cakes. Who the hell is Coochie? Call Coochie's Cakes and ask for Cooch. Let's stop and get a cocktail. I, I really think we, I really here. think Rick wants us to just make sure you're safe. I drive better with the cocktail under my belt. I thought I was going to die. Coming up. Watch this pothole. Pothole. Oh my god. <laughs> you went right for it. And the bachelor party kicks into gear. If mom gets back and finds out what we're doing outside, we are all dead. Nice to meet you. I'm Megan. Too. When Ma was out taking her driving lesson, I was stuck here trying to get everything taken care of. Let's can just get ready. As you can see, it is an oil rig themed party. There's coveralls, bikinis. Kurt, it just drives me crazy every time he calls up here with some insane request. I don't get paid enough for this. She's not paying attention. It's, this is all like a joke to her, and yet it's her driver's license. We need no. to turn right at that street. Where's the turn signal? Looking left, go right. Don't stop, don't yeah. stop. Oh. Sorry. Go down here, and the road's gonna cur- hey, 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 two hands on the wheel here. My hair was- Miss Fairless, I just want you to pass this test. Total nerve. Don't back any wisecracks, Chuck. Okay. My name is Chad, not Chuck. When someone's named Chuck and they order food, I say, your order's up, Chuck. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, that's probably not Get good it, to say Chuck. in a food place. They like it. They like it? All those Chucks like it. He makes me want it up, Chuck. <laughs> stop in front of the stop sign. Whoa. Whoa. Stop in front of the stop Did sign. Did you hit the brake? Yeah, I had to hit the brake because you're going to roll us out there. don't do that. Don't tell me how to drive. I think people underestimate my mom because of her age, but she's a tough lady. Don't touch those damn controls again. What if I see something you don't? Oh, please. Like, I need that <laughs> Life is too short to be that serious. This is a piece of <laughs> car. I kind of screwed around with the... Want to see how fast we can get no, see. no, no, we're just, we're just... <laughs> cop, cop, cop. You've got to holler that when you see it, Chuck. It's Chad. Obviously, by now, you can see I can drive as good as you can, if okay, not watch better. Watch this pothole. Pothole. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> you went right for it. Watch out. I did this. <laughs> not funny. On the test, in an area like this, it's going to be 30 miles per hour. And so far, you've, you've done... Pr Whoa, you okay? You're boring me to death, Chuck. God. When I finally got a hold of Coochie's Cakes, thank goodness they were able to meet my deadline. It was a cake, it had an oil rig, and it spewed chocolate, and that's all I needed. Thank God. Is that the Coochie's? Yeah. Cake or whatever. Whoever your dad wanted. 
The cake was about to arrive and I knew I needed help carrying it. The only person I could find was Lena. I'm cool with lending a hand. I need to show dad I can pull my weight around here. Lena came here to work after she got laid off from her other job. She's always clumsy and I figured she was gonna screw something up, but she was the only person around so I had to take her. Here's the rig. All right, you need to set it right at the top here. Now? No. Um, I would wait. Yeah. I grabbed this oil rig topper. So it was in this box that was falling apart. Yeah. Yeah. Can you carry all that, Lena? Yeah. Cake woman just starts piling it into my One arms. More? You got it? You got it? Yep. Okay. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you. And I had to grab all this stupid chocolate. The one thing that Kurt said we had to have was this oil rig on a cake. Are you f kidding me? I'm in hell. Coming up, when Ma goes in for a driving test, things get even stickier. And later, will Ma pass the test and get her license? Before you start the car, you need to put your seatbelt on. Total. This was the first for us doing the bachelor party during the middle of the day, but I guess those guys are trying to get away from their wives and their girlfriends or doing it without them knowing it. What's up, boys? When they said that they wanted to take me out during the day, have a few beers, I thought, you know, there was no harm in that. Little did I know, Kirk was behind everything. You sure you're ready to get married? Uh, uh no. You, you ready to party? Yeah. You know, if my mom sees this freak show that we got going on out here, she is going to be beside herself. Rick better not f this up. The one thing that Kurt said we had to have was this oil rig on a cake. And it took me all day to find this, and in two seconds, she ruins it. Help me! I'm trying! Oh, my God. At least he's in bust. Oh, yeah, at least these didn't bust. I can buy new chocolate. I can't buy a new freaking oil rig. No one else could make it. She drops it. The first thing that went through my mind is, like, I got to get it to Sean and get this cake topper fixed, or it's going to be my ass. I never should have had Lena help me carry the cake. Max! <sighs> Lena. Sean. What? Um, what in the heck is this? Sean didn't want to help me at first. I had to talk him into it. Sean, I need this fixed today. Like, you could tape it, you could weld it, whatever you need to do to get this normal. <laughs> I think he realized, hey, boss's daughter, I kind of got to help her out. She's not observant. She thinks she is, but she's not. All right, Chuck, are we done? Yet? Turn right in here. I don't know how much of that was her fooling around and how much of it was her inability to actually drive. Can I go now? No, we've got to work on your parallel parking. I can't do parallel parks anymore. If my ma doesn't pass this test, then I'm going to have to be the one that cars her around, and I do not want to have to do that. Yeah, you want to pull up there to that, to that first orange cone? Don't color. tell okay. me. Don't tell me. This is a piece of <laughs> car by the way. I, I wouldn't be caught dead in a car like this. Whoa, whoa, ma. Whoa. <laughs> Rick, that's what you get for making me do this Go ahead, you got it. Turn all the way to the right. Turn all the way to the right. There you go. I like that, uh, Chuck. That's much better. Perfect. I barely park like a champ. Chuck's yes. been fine. Is that all she needs, Chuck? You definitely have some problems. Did he say I have he said, problems? No, he said you got it down. You got it, Ma. Yes. Uh, the lesson that my mom had with Chad that was just a lesson. That was just a, a brush up course. The real test is later today. Where's Megan? I went over to make sure that they had everything they needed. They picked me up, they were serenading me. I want to make love to your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that I would ever want to do again. I don't really have any concerns about the bachelor party. I mean, people are used to seeing all different kinds of things up here at Strokers. Oh, yeah. well, you mother <laughs> are gonna play spin the wheel. 
Take a shot. Take a shot. Where's the wind? Take it down, baby. Spin it, baby. My buddy Aaron also decided to sport the pink bikini. I knew I should have thought twice about that dare wheel. How did I know someone was going to end up in a pink bikini? Gross. <laughs> Okay, shh, guys. Are you serious? This is it? This is the best I'm gonna do. Nina, it's with tape. It looks like It looks like there's oil already dripping down from it. What crap? It looked like Megan, you only gave us an hour. Well, don't drop it like Lena did. Okay, I didn't mean to. Come on, Lena, let's go. The bachelors started to get really rowdy, so I had no time to waste. I had to get out there and hope that the cake worked. So the big moment of the day is when the gals are supposed to bring out our cake. They show up in these coveralls and these hard hats, wheel out this cheap ass looking cake that a fourth grader could have made. And I thought, oh, this is hideous. We might as well just pack it up and head home now. Here we go, here we go. Five. She turns the knob. Nothing. Um, oh, sh Coming up. Oh, uh, excuse me, Mrs. Fairless, you're gonna have to put that cigarette out. This guy said Nazi. And later. <laughs> that DMV guy was a total. Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Fairless, you're gonna have to put that cigarette out. What? Thank you. This guy said Nazi. Ma'am, ma before you start the car, you need to put your seatbelt on. Normally, I'd tell that jerk off exactly where to go, but I need to pass this test. Bad. When I say I want a cake that spews chocolate, I want a big cake. And they wheel out this little rinky dink Betty Crocker. I panicked. I thought these guys are gonna go crazy. I'm looking around for some kind of solution. The only thing that came to mind was I have a pool, I have a lot of chocolate. Guys love girls in chocolate, right? We dump the pool, we empty the chocolate, and all hell broke loose after that. Bring out the titties! just went at it in the pool. Like, they just stripped down and went at it. That chocolate pool was probably my worst idea ever. If mom gets back and finds out what we're doing outside, we are all dead. That was the highlight of the whole day, when Joe jumped in that kiddie pool with chocolate and started wrestling with those gals. One of those girls' tits popped out. She had a nice set on her. The good news is, mom passed her driving test. The bad news is, when I got back... I tried to warn Ricky, but he never met a dollar he didn't want. Get what they're doing, <laughs> dumb asses. <laughs> Rick. I see long-haired hippie Rick come walking out with his old windbag mom. I thought, she's got a nice pair of tits. Two against they one, that's not fair! This place up. She was pissed. Her bar was a mess. Listen, don't touch me. Like don't you touch know. us. Look I at apologize. Him. I'm gonna tell you right now. Listen, we're, we're wrestling me. with chocolate in a pool, honey. If you were here don't earlier, I would have wrestled don't with touch you. Me. Kurt came over to try and smooth things out. I think he just made it worse. I don't know what was better. Seeing the bikini girls out there wrestling in the chocolate kitty pool or hosing them babies off. All in all, they did a pretty good job. I'd have to give them probably a five and a half on a scale of 10. Mom passed her test. She's got her driver's license, thank God. Good job, Mom. So let's go out to eat. I want to take the family out to eat, so we'll go get Sue. Let's go. Okay. Megan, yeah. make sure, that make sure all that, as long as they had a good time, I'm cool. 
I knew I had to get those guys out of here before they get back from dinner, or else it's going to be even worse. So at the end of all that chaos, I thought, you know what, this is the perfect time to celebrate Ma's passing her driving test, take them out for supper. So it's also Ma's 71st birthday. Oh, I don't want to talk about that. Grandma hates birthdays. I think everybody does when they get that old. We heard it was your birthday. Hey. Oh, yeah. How about that? How many it's candles are on there? One for every decade. Count them. He knows I don't celebrate birthdays. What's the point? You bastard, Ricky. I love hate birthdays. This I don't think I want any birthday cake. Are these the trick ones? We're all gonna do it now. Ricky was really lucky he didn't wear that cake come.